yesterday I sprayed down the, um, the rust with the vinegar to help kind of neutralize it. I did want to kind of leave this stuff on here because otherwise there would be nothing to build on. And I'm planning on just putting Bondo down. But what I'm going to do beforehand is I bought some additional supplies. So we got our Bondo here, which is about $8. Got a dollar um, metal brush that I'm going to scrub the rust. Some sandpaper, a little sanding block, and some um, spreader tools. So less than, um, probably less than $15 worth of supplies here so far. And I'll take the metal brush and try to brush this stuff down because it's kind of um, raised up and rough. So brushing it down will hopefully make it a little bit smoother. And then I'll just go ahead and start laying in the Bondo. As you can see, brushing it pretty much made a hole go through it because there's really nothing here but rust. So I'm going to flip it over and do the other side, but I really don't want to go through it. I want to leave even what little rust is here to kind of help hold the Bondo in place. Well, I hope I didn't make more of a mess for myself as I um, was sanding it and, uh, you know, removing the rust. This is what happened. The whole thing kind of fell apart because it's kind of all rotted away. It's all rusted through. I'm going to try to run the Bondo through it and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying to lay it out so it looks somewhat like it did before. And then I'll have to kind of Bondo over it and hope the Bondo holds. I have scraped and cleaned as much of the rusted metal out as I dared without the whole thing falling apart and missing a piece here. So we're going to try to build this up right now using Bondo. I might even get a piece of tape and stick it under there to kind of hold the Bondo in place. I think maybe I'll try to do that. Alright, masking tape is our friend. Duct tape. I put some duct tape underneath here. It's not a permanent thing. This is just to hold the Bondo in place when I lay the Bondo down. Because I'm going to put a lot of Bondo. And I don't I want something in the back to kind of hold it in place. Now I'll be pulling this tape off shortly. So this is what it looks like on this side. Um, we've got the tape right there in place to kind of hold the Bondo. And we'll just be laying Bondo down this way. Of course, with my luck, as soon as I start to work on the car, get ready to do this stuff, it looks like it's going to open up pouring rain. At this point, I don't really have a choice but to go ahead and proceed and hope it doesn't rain while I'm working on it. But anyhow, you're supposed to use just a little bit of hardener with um, a mix of the um, putty here, which you lay down and use as um, putty. So I'm going to go ahead and put down some hardener here first and then mix in some putty and mix the two together. The instructions say to knead the hard hardener, which is in this tube here. So, I don't know how you're supposed to knead it. It doesn't really move much, but I'll go ahead and just try to massage it as best as I can. I think you're supposed to just kind of mix it up, you know, before you squeeze it out. Then I'm going to squeeze a little bit out and then add the hardener. Not the hardener, but the, the Bondo itself. Here then is the amount of hardener that I squeezed out from this tube. And I've got the um, putty there that I'm going to add to it. I'm just going to add a little bit of putty the putty beside it here. I think I'm going to have to scoop it up. I'm going to have to do it with two hands so I'm going to stop filming for now. Now what you have to do is mix these two together to, and it'll start to harden and then I, I need to use it before it hardens so I'm going to have to stop filming for now. I just wanted to show that I'm kind of mixing it. You know, you're kind of mixing it like batter almost. I'm trying to make it turn that um, peachy color. So I've got my putty pretty much mixed right now. It's kind of all peachy. I'm going to start spreading it because it's getting ready to pour. I always seem to have like the worst luck. As soon as I started mixing this, of course, the sky is just suddenly turned dark. And I think there's some sprinkles starting up. So I was kind of rushing and made a mess here. And I didn't really get the underside that I want to, which I might still try to do here by mixing another batch. But at least I formed this part right now for now. So I'm going to try to form another second layer here underneath to make it stronger because it's going to collapse real soon. But um, this is just an initial spread. And you see I spilled some real quick here and made a mess because I'm trying to rush. But um, we started to make a new um, little fix here for a little blue to the uh, rust growth here. As time is of essence, and I don't have a lot of time 
And I do need to get this fixed so it doesn't fall apart when I shut the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second layer underneath and start to fill all this in. Um, I'm just mixing up another batch and doing this before it pours rain here. So hopefully I'll be able to do it and get it all covered up. I removed the tape is what I did and now I have to fill all this underside. Give it some um, rigidity here. I don't know if you can tell, it is like raining. Sure enough, you know, I must have like the worst luck. As soon as I start on this stuff, it starts pouring. Anyhow, I did a really rough job here. I'm trying to film it here in the rain, but I'm gonna go ahead and have to stop at this point and try to see what I can fix later. But right now, um, I put on as much as I can. Hopefully it'll somewhat harden, even though it's like totally soaking wet out here. So instead of a quick how to, I mean a how to do a quick Bondo repair video, I think this one is more appropriately how to not do a quick Bondo repair video. Um, but actually it seems to be holding. You're supposed to let this get tacky and then sand it down and start to get it smooth and then put on, you know, make it smoother and smoother. I'm not going to be able to do that obviously because it is raining. But at least it seems to be dried enough that it's kind of holding its shape. I'm going to run another pass through when it's dry and try to make it a little bit smoother both here and underneath. I want to cover up all the rusted spots so that um, hopefully it'll protect it from more rust and water coming in and rusting it out. Because underneath here it's all rusted and even up here probably want to do a thin layer and then um, see if we can't make the um, vehicle look a little bit better and not so rusted out. This part had already, you know, rusted all the way through. 